Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to connect the Xbox One controller to any Apple Mac which is running Windows on the Bootcamp partition. So if you haven't already installed Windows on your Mac then please follow the link that I'm pointing to in the top right corner of the screen which will take you to my Bootcamp Windows 10 tutorial. So the first thing to look at is the Xbox One S controller. Um, all you need to do is obviously have the batteries plugged in, but then also press the guide button so it starts flashing. And then press the pair button here, which will enable it to be discovered on the computer. Then I'm going to press the start button here. And then I'm going to type in the word blue. And we're going to have the Bluetooth and other settings available in this menu. We're going to click on that and we're going to click add Bluetooth or other device and we're going to do this top selection here, Bluetooth, mice, keyboard, pens, etc. So once that's done, we, um, if the, if the uh, controller isn't showing up, we just press this and hold this um, pair button again. And that will start flashing and we can see the input there. I'm just going to press the input button to connect up the controller. Great, so that's all set up now. If I press the, the guide button, some of the special Xbox features start working. And uh, you've now paired your Xbox One S controller directly to the Mac using Bluetooth. Now, <clears throat> there are a couple of other ways to do this too. The other way is to use a standard micro USB cable. So this one is, is cable directly there and we can plug it into the MacBook and I'm using a, a USB A to C adapter here and we could plug that straight in. Um, the other thing to note is that there are two types of Xbox One controller. So this one on the right is the Xbox One S. So this can connect via Bluetooth. And this one on the left here um, is the is the earlier Xbox One controller. And it has slightly different um, kind of plastic around the guide button. You can see there's this kind of separator here, right? So this type of controller, you can connect it via cable again, just the standard micro USB cable, and that will work. If you wanted it to be connected wirelessly, you'd have to plug in one of these um, wireless dongles um, for the, uh, which is a receiver for this specific model and you'd have to use a USB A to C adapter to plug it into any of the modern Mac devices, especially the MacBook Pro, which only has USB C for the last few years. So all you do is you plug this in and then we could um, pair it in the same way. If you want to check that your controller is properly connected, what you can do is you press the command button, which brings up the start menu and type in the word controller. And what we have here is a shortcut to set up USB game controllers. So you click on that. You can see here that, um, I'll just bring this to the right. This says that we have a Bluetooth X input device, which is this one. If we click properties while we select that, we get to this kind of menu where it's showing us all the, all the kind of buttons. So we have the joysticks, which we can wiggle around. I can see the input being interpreted. We've got the D-pad being shown as a point of view hat and we've got the various buttons which are all show up as numbered items here and it's going to be interpreted by the game correctly. Anyway I hope you found this video useful if you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.